So I'm back here again at Doolittle Station. It's the morning of November 9th and I am currently working on the model train layouts here. I uh, spent the morning putting some stuff back on the tracks, also addressing some issues that I need to take care of today. And something else I want to work on is getting the rest of these glass panels cleaned up. Uh, they've had fingerprints and dirt all over them, so I uh, want to get that taken care of here. And then there's also, uh, down below here, got this circus layout that I need to try to at least tidy up and uh, get something running on it again. So I don't know how interesting this video is going to be, but uh, I'm not going to walk you through everything I do. I'll probably just keep giving you short updates as we go along. Got the G-scale loop running up top there. I took time and oiled the train wheels. Also noticed that those flat cars had a couple axles that were out of place, which that was causing a lot of drag. And currently the trolley track is not running. I'm thinking something might be wrong with the automatic reverser in that because the tracks are perfectly clean. Uh, there's uh, one of the trains on the HO layout just going by here. And I think somewhere down that way is the other one. Yeah, it's just coming up here at the moment. Uh, wait for that to go by. Uh, this was one of the ones, well actually both of them I had to take time to put back on the tracks. Uh, found a couple issues with uh, train wheels and such. Another thing on the to-do list, as you can see, Tombo there is derailed. He was not running that great when I was last in here, so I think he's due for a service. And I also got to take time and get the locomotive for the Hogwarts layout working as well. Uh, I've got it here with me, but when I took it home, I uh, never got around to doing anything with it. Pretty much just washing windows, which I doubt you want to watch this all day. Tell you one thing though, I've definitely noticed give these a good clean and you can see the layout's a lot nicer. Uh, actually, the last time I was here, I finished cleaning the top row, so it's pretty much just this bottom row that needs taken care of now. And some of these are really bad for dirt and fingerprints. Just finished up cleaning the glass panels and needless to say you can see through them a lot better now and I think I'm going to try to tidy things up with this circus layout a little bit. Anything that's loose I'm going to throw in a box and uh, maybe put back in place at a later date and try to get a train running around this circuit before I leave. So there's a box of loose stuff that I pulled off the layout and I've done some vacuuming up until uh, right about this point here and it's definitely looking a lot better now with all, all that clutter and dust and dirt all over everything especially around this tent here there was a lot of uh, styrofoam just scattered all over this area got that swept up accidentally laid my arm on the pond there and it fell through uh, hopefully I can get that fixed before I get out of here but I need to go down and uh, sweep the rest of the layout down that way so I think I got the layout as clean as I'm going to get it for the time being. Uh, just test running the circus train here. I'm um, thinking there's a loss in voltage in places. Possibly bad track joins. But uh, I do have to say that I think this layout is a lot more presentable than it was. And I'll have to come back here at a later date or someone else will to uh, try to tidy things up a little more. So overall, I think it's been a pretty progressive morning. Got the glass panels clean, trains are running. You can see got both HO circuits going here. Uh, G-scale loop uh, is going somewhere. I think the train's down that way. But uh, yeah, also got the Lego train running here as well. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with that. 
Uh, circus layout is cleaned up a little bit and got a train running on that again. I'm sure Bob will be really happy to find that out. Um, there was issues with the Hogwarts layout. I got a dead spot in the tracks back by the castle and uh, still got to take time, do some work to the locomotive. It's not running right, so I'll be taking that back with me to service. And then uh, Thomas will also need service as well, so that's going to leave the O-gauge layout without an engine for the time being. Uh, when I come back, I think I'm going to see about doing some track work because I know there are a couple joins which are a bit iffy. Uh, you can see right there's one and yeah there's uh, quite a few of them actually so i may end up having to pull up some of this track and do some work there but uh overall like i said i think it was a pretty progressive morning and i'm quite happy with what all i've got done here uh gonna be heading out before too much longer so i kind of like to have some time to run some trains and just uh, enjoy myself before i get out of here so that's basically going to wrap up this video. Like I said, I'm quite pleased with what all I got done here. And, you know, I quite enjoy uh, coming to Dubois here to do a little station, working on the layouts, running trains, and uh, it's quite enjoyable. Uh, I've actually had uh, a couple YouTubers I know, like NZR doing, uh, Terrence of Tractor 525, Captain Rolls. Those guys have actually came up here with me and uh, we've worked on the layouts, ran trains. Uh, in fact, uh, me and uh, Terrence the Tractor 525 were actually the ones who helped uh, Bob McKay get everything up and running here again after two years of the layouts being neglected. But uh, if you're someone else who maybe happens to be in the area of Doolittle Station and you want to stop by give me a hand sometime, uh, send me a message. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for now. I'm going to sign off because I'm going to go run some trains now. So uh, until the next video, I'll see you guys later.